Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Will Wareham with WHHI TV. We're coming to you today from Hilton Head Preparatory School as they celebrate their 50th anniversary. Joining us today are Leslie Richardson, Linda Frazier, and Freddie Carson, Rich Basirico, Kelly Dillon, and Kate Herman, and finally, John Hopman, Bailey Kaiser, and Tina Webb Browning. So stick around for more 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. I'm now joined by Le Leslie Richardson, Linda Frazier, and Freddie Carson. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So Hilton Head Prep is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Uh, Linda, can you tell us a little bit about the school's history? I can indeed. Um, Hilton Head Prep started out as Sea Pines Academy in 1965. Um, started by the Sea Pines Company to provide excellence in education for their executives' children. Um, in 19... 71, May River Academy was started over in Bluffton as an alternative. And then in 1985, um, due to economic conditions like the rest of the country, the two schools combined here on this campus and became Hilton Head Prep. Okay. okay. And do you all have any uh, special events? Oh, we have so <laughs> many things going on for the 50th anniversary, and everyone in the community is invited. I'll back up, though, and tell you we had a fabulous event in September okay. for the opening of the Main Street Theater. Yes, Which that's is right. so exciting. And then tomorrow, the Festival of Trees is opening, and it's going to be so fabulous. So you really need to during the and that's um, at Christmas the season. That's at the Sinesta, Sinesta Hotel. Uh, Thank you very much. And it's just going to be beautiful and just so much fun. And then everyone is invited on February 20th. We're having our 50th Golden Jubilee <laughs> for Hilton Head Prep. Okay. And I think another thing that is so exciting, we're all so community involved here at Hilton Head Prep. We're doing 50 days of community service here on Hilton Head Island because Hilton Head Prep really is so closely connected to the community mm -hmm. and it's a really big way of giving back in the community. Absolutely. And so anyone out there that is hearing this, if they've graduated from prep mm -hmm. or even the early days of May River Academy, <laughs> which is, you know, all of our um, legacy, everyone is invited to join in the 50 years of celebration. Fantastic. And so that uh, Festival of Trees runs through the holiday season, is that correct? Yes, it does. And semester? it's so beautiful. And so mm. many people in the community and parents and students and staff and alum have participated. Good way to get that tree decorated before <laughs> Christmas. Oh, yes it is. Buy it already decorated. Yep, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, Freddie, I understand you were, you were here uh, when the school opened, is that right? That's right. Absolutely. Uh, can you share with us some of the uh, changes in the evolution of the school over 50 years? Well, let me put something in perspective. At that time, 50 years ago, shrimp was 29 cents a pound <laughs> and gas was 50, 29 cents a gallon. Oh my. And there was one traffic circle <laughs> and no traffic lights. One traffic circle and mm -hmm. no traffic lights. But uh, yeah, the school started in a little building that still exists up next to the First Baptist Church. And uh, there were four rooms and a main room. And we had um, kindergarten through fifth grade. Sixth grade, I taught fifth and sixth. Mm -hmm. And um, we had four teachers, three came from Savannah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I was, was here. Long drive. <laughs> yes, yes. But um, we were all as close. I think that's where the closeness began mm -hmm. because everybody was connected. Right. And um, the next year they added um, trailers and two more classes. And eventually, what Linda was saying about um, the building here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the football field here was here before the school. Okay. It was the Gator Field that was built in 1969 and for the Gator football program. Okay. So the field was here and then the school came eventually. 
and a Gator program that's still around today, right? Yes, yes. yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Le Leslie and Linda, you both are parents of alumni. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, yes. And, um, I'm actually an alum as well. You are. You're an alumni here. As well as my husband. <laughs> as well as your husband. Yep. Um, can you share with us, you know, maybe uh, a couple of uh, different, you, you know, unique things about Hilton Head Prep that may, maybe some people may not know? How it well, differentiates itself from other schools. I think um, one of the things is because it's a smaller school, people think of it as being maybe um, separated from the community in a way. Mm -hmm. It's not that way at all. Because it's a small school, it's got this wonderful, welcoming mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere because every year you get an influx of new students. Right. And they become instant friends. And I think that's, that is one of the things that makes it unique. I graduated in 77. We had 21 people in our class. <laughs> We've lost one, unfortunately, but we are all still very, very connected. Yeah. And it's the same with my children's classes. It's, it just makes it a very unique situation. Yeah. I think one thing that people maybe don't know is how international Hilton Head Prep mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Um, my oldest son, who is now um, 24, graduated from prep, works in New York for <laughs> J.P. Morgan, is um, he and my second son, Collins, who's a senior in college at Swanee, um, had a really good friend, Felipe, from um, Ecuador. And for Thanksgiving, he would come and have Thanksgiving with us. Oh, and we really got to know Felipe and his family, as so many of the students really create relationships mm -hmm. from students that come from everywhere. The academics of Hilton Head Prep are huge. My daughter, yeah. Forrest, who's a sophomore at Wake Forest, and he made <laughs> Dean's List last year, um, attributes it to really the education at Hilton Head Prep. When we were sitting in the um, room where she was hearing all about Wake Forest, they made, she had just turned in a 45-page paper <laughs> that was due under um, Hilton Head Prep in her AP Lit. Mm -hmm. And the person on the stage said, and you'll have to write really long papers here at Wake Forest <laughs> University, 20 page papers. And she turned to me and said, piece of cake. <laughs> so Hilton Head Prep <laughs> is such, has such high <laughs> academic mm -hmm. standards. Well, and I then think, the friendships here are yeah. really amazing. I think too, if you look at the alumni that have graduated from here, I mean, we have doctors, we have lawyers, we have artists, we have, um, it, politicians, um, it just runs the whole gamut. I think this is such a, um, almost an incubator because you, whatever you word. dream a <laughs> yeah. child has, yeah. Yeah. they can accomplish. And I can tell you that Freddie taught my brother-in-law, West, who is <laughs> a very famous, very famous, famous right. artist. <laughs> so, you know, and Jesse Peterson has just you know, she's up in New York practicing her. It's just, like I said, a wonderful incubator for dreams. Please thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you for you. having us. And please stick around for another segment of 843 TV from Hilton Head Prep. Welcome back to 843 TV. I'm now joined by Kate Herman, Kelly Dillon, and Rich Basirico. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Absolutely. So, let's, Rich, let's start with you. You're sure. the athletic director here and a, yes. and a parent of, of some alumni, right? Yes, three. <laughs> and I think that we've all been impressed with uh, Hilton Head Prep's athletic prowess over the years and success. Can you share with us some insights on, on, on maybe what brings out the, the athletic sure. success here? Actually, that's an easy question. <laughs> um, we have outstanding athletes. Our students are committed to our program, and we're very fortunate also to have uh, excellent coaches. Yeah. So they, they um, our athletes and our coaches work extremely well together. And the thing about it is, we you know, you always talk about you play to win, which is true, um, but our coaches do a wonderful job with life lessons. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, um, you know, wins and losses are, are great to talk about, but uh, what our players become because of the athletic program is the most important thing to us. Absolutely. So, and we're very fortunate um, this past, well, this fall, we have uh, nine of our athletes who are, have committed to play at the college level. Wow. And over the last six years, we've had 50 of our athletes uh, sign a letter of intent to play at the next level. So we've been blessed to have extremely good athletes along with our great coaches, and it just 
works extremely well for us. Absolutely, and, and, and participating in team sports or individual sports really brings out the character and develops the character of a student athlete, doesn't it? Uh, absolutely, and <laughs> we're also fortunate to have 83% of our athletes in the upper school, or I should say our students, to participate in athletics. Wow. So that's a huge number for us. Yeah, over and, 80% uh, is, is big. It's, it's very big. Yeah. Um, so, you know, their commitment, and the, the interesting thing is, and Kate will, will vouch this, we, not only do they play sports, they get involved in arts mm -hmm. and other uh, activities. So we ask our students to do a lot here, mm -hmm. and they rise to the occasion and do a wonderful job. Very cool. Let's talk a little bit more about the art. Uh, Kelly, yeah. you're a member of the faculty in the art department, correct? I am, and, yes. And an alumni here. Yes. And uh, walking around the campus, I've seen some amazing student art. Yeah. Uh, can you share with us a little insight on, on the artistic environment here? At yeah, you know, um, PrEP has always had an, an amazing art program and I, not only am I, I, am I an alum, but I was also a lifer. That meant I went from first grade to 12th grade and graduated from here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I've been here, I grew up here and throughout um, each class I had, I had an amazing art teacher. I started out with Freddie Carson mm -hmm. in Lower End Middle School and then went up to upper school art with Mrs. Ramsey Riley. And you know, it's really the teachers that we have here that bring out the talent in the kids. For example, um, when I was in the upper school art room, I knew I had, you know, some knack for art. Mm -hmm. um, and I loved art, but I never really went out of my comfort zone. And Mrs. Ramsey Riley, she really saw that I had potential and she made me go out of my comfort zone and really broaden my talent. And she made me realize what I could do. And not only am I the single student who has realized their potential because of Mrs. Ramser or Mrs. Carson, I'm one of many. Um, right. So the teachers have really shown students what they can do with art. Um, Kate's in my art class right now, so I'm <laughs> hoping that she's realizing <laughs> some of that too. Absolutely. Um, so coming back as a faculty and seeing students realize their potential for art, you know, seeing that they can do more than stick figures or right. just colored <laughs> pencils, that that's, sort of thing. Yeah. It, that's all I could do before yeah. I started art, if I'm being completely yeah. honest. And now she's done some awesome paintings, uh, awesome pointillism. Um, you know, so it's very, um, it's very, awesome to see students to realize what they can do with art and you know having unearthed talent like that we've shown how much we can do um, prep has won more skiza uh, art competitions overall than other schools and we also have the frederica carson art purchase wars and what we do is we actually buy student artwork from them to hang in the school yeah. with plaques, frames, the whole shebang. So we have a huge collection of student artwork over the years. So it sounds like both co coaches and, and teachers alike are, are pushing students to realize their potential. Yes, here. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Okay, you're, you're a senior here, right? I am. Yeah, and you're uh, active in the performing arts program. Is that right? Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> and can you share with us a little bit about your experience here at PrEP and within the performing arts program? Absolutely, I'd love to. <laughs> Um, the performing arts has always been something that I've been very, very um, involved in, especially but even before I moved here, but after um, moving to prep in eighth grade and I was introduced to Ben Wolf, who was a performing art director at the time, he really encouraged me um, to start pursuing. He's like, you're pretty good at this. You might want to, <laughs> you might want to try doing this. And so I auditioned for some shows. I was in, um, Sound of Music and Legally Blonde with him specifically, which were both very different shows. <laughs> and, um, the next year we, he unfortunately left the school and, um, we got the blessing of having Mrs. Trekker White enter, um, to replace him. And she is, probably the most one of the most talented people I've ever met in my entire life and she has always been pushing me to um, just kind of hone my talent and like really f um, find my niche in the corner of mm -hmm. this huge um, what is performing arts right, right. and <laughs> I've oh, I've been asked to perform um, a governess I've been asked to be um, a very stuck-up British person <laughs> I've been I've been a sorority girl I've been um, you know an upper-class 1800s mm -hmm. society lady and it's just it's really interesting to see all the things that you can do with that yeah. and she has really um, specifically Mrs. Trekker White has really asked me to leave all of my comfort zones as um, Ms. Dillon has as well in the art room <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not very good at art if we're being real <laughs> and <laughs> and it's just something that I love doing and a lot of prep students have a 
um, a passion for. So it's really awesome to see um, a lot of people who can walk off the basketball court and then step right into right, right onto the stage or into the art room, and we're all yeah. connected. Making it a, a little bit more of a well-rounded student. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what Kate does. She'll Definitely. she'll be here in practice, yeah. practicing basketball, and leave and go to practice for the play, yeah. and then obviously go home and do her homework. Yeah. So it's a, <laughs> it's a long day, but they get, <laughs> yeah. but they get it done. It's, right. a, it's yeah. amazing. It really is amazing. All part of your do. day as a Hilton Head prep student, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's never a short day. <laughs> but it's a good day. But it's a good more day. Or <laughs> more, or less, it's a, more or less, it's a good day. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, Rich, Kelly, Kate, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you Thanks so much. Having us. Absolutely. And uh, stick around for one more segment of 843 TV. Welcome back to 843TV. I'm now joined by John Hopman, Bailey Kaiser, and Tina Webb-Browning. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Now, John, let's start with you. You're the headmaster sure. here. Yes. And um, as the only member of the National Association of Independent Schools on the island, uh, what sets Hilton Head Prep apart from other schools in the area? Well, I believe first and foremost, I think our faculty, uh, administration, our staff uh, is, is the foundation for our school. Uh, yeah. And so by having an amazing group of people here to nurture and take care of kids, to educate the students, uh, that's, that's our foundation. Uh, and then, of course, what we do in the classroom, our curriculum, uh, I think we do a very good job of balancing uh, the skills based with content uh, in our classrooms. Um, and as a school overall, you know, we're seeing a great deal of success with our college placement. Yeah. Uh, our students are, are going to some of the best schools around. Um, and we are also seeing, a, a, you know, a great deal of personal growth in our students. Uh, we, we reach out to the community. Uh, we want our kids involved uh, out in the community doing community service and community outreach. Mm -hmm. uh, and that helps us to develop a well-rounded students. So Absolutely. we're excited about that. Absolutely. And this is your 50th anniversary, right? It is. Yeah. It is. And, and you're uh, celebrating that anniversary by doing some uh, giving back to the community, aren't you? We are. Yeah. We are. We, uh, we actually, with our 50th year, uh, we have come up with 50 days of service. Mm -hmm. So uh, throughout this entire school year, each of our divisions will be contributing in some way, shape, or form to our community uh, in, in 50 different endeavors. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now Bailey, let's let's move on to you. You're the you're the student class president, is that right? Yes, sir. Wow, how's that going so far? It's going well. <laughs> I love she's it. She's doing a phenomenal <laughs> a phenomenal job. It's a fun role to have. Yeah. Um, and as a, as a student and student class president, what do you think some of the strengths are here at Hilton Head Prep? I would say like one of our major strengths is our size. Because we are such a small school, you're truly able to forge such honest relationships with your teachers. So if you're ever struggling in a certain subject, you don't even think twice about going after school and asking that teacher for help. And also we're really able to pursue any passions that we have. Like say you're interested in poetry, we have a teacher on staff that's actually written an entire book <laughs> of poetry. So you're really able to develop any skills that you love and that you're interested in. And I just don't think you have those kind of tools at any other school. And because we're so small, you're also able to develop relationships with everyone on campus. Like right. I walk through campus and I say hi to everyone because you actually truly know everyone. Like you know their name, their mom, like their favorite <laughs> food, everything. So yeah. I think that's awesome to have. Yeah, and the interaction with with uh, faculty who have expertise really exactly. helps to um, you to pursue whatever you're interested in and, and it prepares you not just for college but for life. Is mm -hmm. that, you know? Exactly. Absolutely. So Tina, now you're a, you're a member of the faculty here. I am and I'm also head of the upper school. And head of the upper school. Right. And right. a parent of a couple of alumni, is that I right? I am. I am. <laughs> so can you share with us some of your experience uh, you know, in the academic realm here at Hilton Prep and some of the accolades that you've received? Well, one of the things I think we're most proud of is that 100% of our senior class is accepted to college. 100%. 100%. And not only just the South Carolina schools, we have them going to Duke and Wake and Princeton and Purdue, some pretty pretty nice yeah, schools. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. yes. In addition, um, these students also experience a great deal of success in the graduate programs they choose to apply to and go to after that. So that's one of our things we're most proud of. In addition, um, we have a great science research program here that is mandatory for students in grades 6 through 12. 
That program brings students the opportunity to compete at our school level, the regional level, the state level, and also at the international level. We consistently bring pro top prizes home from the regional and state level. And then at the international level, that opens all kinds of doors for students to um, apply for internships in college and also get college scholarships. And that's a, that's a, that's a subject matter that here in, in, our, in our state of South Carolina and in our country is, is really important for the future of our uh, population, isn't it? I mean, science and math is, is, is pivotal. Absolutely, and our okay. students get involved in projects that are near and dear to their heart. Right. I had a couple of soccer players look at engineering a soccer headgear that was better at absor absorbing shock mm -hmm. last year, and also a young woman who said, what if I took the protein inside spider silk and looked if that was a able to prevent the spread of E. coli. Hmm. So that was that was pretty cool stuff. Yeah. But it doesn't end with science. Right. Our literary team, our poetry out loud group, our math group, our chess um, club. I'm trying to think of what else we've got. They all compete well at the yeah. regional and state levels. Yeah, one thing I've been impressed with just you know doing the show here is, is how well-rounded these students are. Right. You know, they, not, they not only participate in the classroom, but they participate in the athletic field and, and, and extracurricular events. Now, John, I know that you haven't been here for 50 years. Sure, sure. <laughs> but in your time here, you know, mm -hmm. what, what really uh, has been your impression of, of what separates you know the student of Hilton Head Prep from from somewhere else? Sure. Well, I, I think. Um, I think our students are do an amazing job of balancing everything that, that yeah. society throws at them today. <laughs> uh, I think expectations of students nowadays are, are definitely uh, different than when you and I were in school. Right. Uh, they balance a tremendous amount of pressure, a tremendous amount of workload, um, and they do it very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what, what we try and do here as a school is to help them build the tools uh, and the foundation they need to be able to go out into the real world right. and, and juggle a lot at one time. Absolutely. Uh, we have athletes who are also in the school play, who mm -hmm. are also going to art competitions, who are also, um, you know, obviously maintaining their their day-to-day -day classwork here. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's an amazing feat. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're pretty proud of our kids and their ability to do that. Absolutely. 50 years of preparing the student, not for, just for college, but for life afterwards. Correct. John, Bailey, Tina, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank and you. thank you for watching 843 TV, where communities come to speak.